You're looking at an aerial shot of a, a car fire down there. We don't know exactly the location, but we do know that there has been unrest uh, in those blocks, those stretch of blocks outside of the police station in Ferguson where the crowd had gathered in those hours before the announcement was made. Of course, the grand jury deciding not to indict, making that announcement that there wasn't enough evidence to indict Darren Wilson. And this is video moments ago of some of these protesters taking to the streets. And then you can see the, the line of defense there from law enforcement officials in vehicles trying to push the crowd back. Micah Grimes joining us. Micah, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm here. Hi. Hi, Micah. Give us an update of what's going on on the ground. Uh, I mean, to be honest with you, it is basically anarchy right now, and I don't, you know, I don't say that in a light term, as I, uh, you know, it got too dangerous for me, and I had to uh, evacuate uh, and just, and just start running. That's why I, I assume this pepper spray broke out. Uh, protesters are trying to flip cop cars. They're smashing windows. As I made it back to the police station, uh, I started walking to get out of the entire area. Uh, a crowd, the police in SWAT vehicles started advancing. Um, and they started shooting tear gas or pepper spray, something, um, up toward the actual police station. The crowd that had remained at the police station and didn't flow down to where the sound of the gunshots uh, rang out uh, at that point uh, started surging forward and all around the road. Uh, and then that's all I heard was just a smashing glass. Um, so I looked, and it was businesses. So I basically ran in a perpendicular motion and got into a quiet neighborhood, um, you know, it's it's extremely quiet where I am now, uh, but well, if you go back about five blocks, it's 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 chaos right now. Yeah, Micah, we have seen these aerial shots and of course some video from the ground. Give us an idea before you move to your safe location. What how what sort of area? How large of an area are these were these protesters gathering? Um, the protest was in about a one block radius, um, right in front of and between the police department and the fire department. Um, and they stayed in that area. I would say there was about 500 people uh, as they listened over a car radio. Um, I believe Michael Brown's mother was on that car. And as the verdict or as the announcement came down, she, she began yelling and weeping. Um, people really got angry at that point, started shouting, moved towards the police barricade. Uh, riot police came up from behind uh, the line of police that were in regular uh, attire, uh, people started shouting. There was a bit of a surge. Things were starting to be thrown, but after a little while, things calmed down. Then, uh, right as we heard that President Obama was going to speak, um, maybe a minute or two later, I started to hear, uh, I heard the gunfire, and everybody just kind of hit the deck and started looking around and figure out what was going on. I'd seen reports that uh, there may have been looting, uh, after I made it down there, I find those believable, even though I, I couldn't see for myself. Uh, I started, it started, they reached a line of riot cops. Uh, the riot gear cops stopped the protesters. They realized that there was a, a police car right next to them, um, and they started trying to flip it. They couldn't do it. Um, and that's when really things really started to escalate because the police felt they had to step in. They came up with what looked like shotguns. They're probably beanbag shotguns, to be honest with you. Uh, they were in orange, so I assume they may not be real, uh, but that really kind of set protesters off to see them bring some kind of, of guns out, um, and things really just uh, devolved from there. And after a while, uh, the SWAT teams rolled in and, and started firing what I, I assume is pepper, pepper spray. And Micah, before everything got uh, chaotic on the on the ground. Had you talked to some of these protesters that were were upset with this de decision? And are they organized, or is 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 there any organized protest that had started the, out in this way? Yeah, the people who are organized were trying to keep it calm. At one point in the night, there was uh, a Caucasian man who came in, and many of the protesters claimed that he said something uh, racial. Uh, they surrounded him, uh, and they did not want to let him leave. Some of them said they wanted to hurt him, etc. cetera. Uh, but there was a few women who stepped up to see, who seemed to be leading the crowd the whole no night, and they said, you know, let's be peaceful about this, let him leave, and they were able to get out. So it's a bunch of those where you go back and forth where you think you're going to have a moment where something's going to pop off, but it doesn't. But 
when that verdict came down, people you could hear people. I didn't necessarily talk to people because I was, you know you kind of have to keep your your head uh, on swivel in those situations to see what's happening around you. But people were expressing their displeasure. They were very mad. Uh, lots of profanity. Uh, they were very upset with the decision, obviously.